Alright, what's up guys, this is Jake. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a member login page for your Wix website and also add page restrictions to your individual pages on your site here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and create a quick blank page really quickly. Now, once I have this, what I'm going to go ahead and do is set up the member login first. So the first thing we need to do to set up member login is it's actually really easy. If we come over here to add, we can just come down here to members and we're just going to click on add to site. And what this is going to do is Wix is going to literally go ahead and create an entire members area for us and go ahead and add that to our site here. So once this goes ahead and loads up, we can see here that now we have a complete members area loaded up where we have my account, we have settings, we have the login information down here, and we also have a login bar up top. Now you can see right here that this login bar is kind of overlapping over this menu here. So what I could go ahead and do here is drag this stuff down, drag this menu down, and then drag this login bar on top just like that. And now we can see that this already looks a lot better. And if I were to go ahead and click preview, we could come over here to the login bar and we can see that if I click on it right here, we can click on my profile, my account, and I can log out. Now, since this is preview mode, I'm not actually going to be able to log out, but um, you get the idea. And if I go back to the editor right here, we can go ahead and click on any of these sections here and go ahead and click on settings. And we can see here we have menu Pro member profile card right here and I can go ahead and click on customize if I wanted to and I could change the layout from full width to cards like this and we can see this changes the entire layout so I'm going to keep it on full width right here we can change the profile picture layout from circle to square we can go ahead and go to design and we can change the text and button style here so we can go ahead and change the member name from different text size we can go ahead and change the font the font size and the actual theme of the text and we can go ahead and change the button text as well and change the button opacity and color which we can see is changing that right here and let's say I wanted to change my color to like let's say green we can see we could change those buttons to a bunch of these different colors and you can go ahead and change all of this stuff to go ahead and suit your brand in here. And if we went ahead and clicked on badges here, we could create and assign badges to members of our community. So if you want to go ahead and give certain members specific custom badges, this is where you can go ahead and do that. So that's how you can go ahead and edit and customize your profile card right here. So now that we have a members login page set up and ready to go, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and restrict pages to members only. So if we come up here to menus and pages, so in here you can add additional member pages right here that uh, can give different types of effects for your specific members. But what you're probably wanting to do here is add a gate to some of your regular pages. So if we go here to site menu, and if we were to go ahead and take a look at the new page that we created earlier, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is click on these three dots and click on settings. And you can do this with any of the pages you have here. And if we come over here to permissions, we can see who can view this page. So right now it's set to everyone. So anyone that comes to our site can view this page. We can switch it to password holders, which would mean that the only people that can view this page would be people that have whatever password we set right here. Now, this isn't the best way to go ahead and make pages private because people can go ahead and share the password. This is typically used just for admin purposes. And then we have the members only option, which is what we're trying to do right here. So we can go ahead and select this. And at this point, we can see that visitors now need to sign up to see this page. So only members of our site can see this page right here, new page. And then we can further customize this by going down here to which members can access this page here. So right now, all members of our site can access this page. But if we selected only selected members or paying customers, we can see here that we could go ahead and select different member roles that could have access to this page. So let's say you had different roles. So a common one would be um, free members and paying members. You could have certain you could have certain private pages that free members can see, but then you could have other private pages right here 
that only pain members could see. And this is how you could go ahead and specify that. So let's say you set one page to where all members could see it and you set another page to where only pain customers could go ahead and see that. And you can do that by selecting roles right here and you could go ahead and select roles. You can add a new role right here. So you could have a, let's say free customer and you could have like a free member and a pain member role right here to distinguish between the two. And if you want to go ahead and create new pricing plans to offer your site visitors, you can go ahead and do that by creating a plan right here. So if you wanted to create a monthly membership for access to some of your locked content, you can go ahead and do that right here. Now, the last thing I want to show you in this video is how to manage site members. So if we click this right here, it's going to take us back to our dashboard now. And right here is where we can actually manage our site members. So we could come in here, click on these three dots and go ahead and view members right here. We could come up here and we could see which members are pending and see which members that we've actually blocked. So you can block certain people from your site and pending members would depend on how your registration process is. So if your registration process is automatic, there's not going to be any pending members, but if your registration process requires manual approval, then this is where um, this will show up and you'll have to go in here and manually approve members. This is where we can set permissions so we can give different members with different roles, different permissions. And then right here, we can go ahead and add specific roles. So like I was talking about earlier, if we wanted to go ahead and do like free member, we could do that. And then you can give it a different role color. So that way they're easy to distinguish and you could click save role. And then you can go ahead and continue to add more roles if you want to go ahead and do that. So that's how you can go ahead and create a member login page as well as add page restrictions to your pages in your Wix website. So if you did find this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more tutorials, and I will see you guys in another video.